We're back to Neil Haley Show. My guest today is David Hollenbeck of Hollenbeck Leadership. David, how are you? And we're going to talk about what do we do, right, when we, you know, we could be on this great, great trajectory and something gets us down, down in the dumps. You know, some people say go to sleep. That's not really a good idea. I found that out later. But how do we get out of being down in the dumps? What are some of your recommendations of how you got yourself out of that? Yeah, so depression is uh, a symptom of PTSD. I've been in uh, some pretty deep, dark places, you know, mentally and emotionally um, in, in the past. And there, there are a lot of tools out there. Um, just some that you can do for yourself. There's breathing exercises, meditation, but getting up in the morning, getting outside to get the first morning sun rays uh, does something to the, the brain that it creates this, this positive effect that can, it has actually pulled me out of depression before you know uh -huh. and, and sometimes it, it's hard to remember these things especially when you're in the midst of that depression but to get yourself out of it remember get outside if you can't get out of bed think about the people in your life that you love that love you what is it when when you know we were talking about um you know your grand strategy and talking about what drives us, what is our purpose? Defining our purpose can do so much for our mental well being. Knowing what we stand for and what we mean to other people is huge. And just taking that that mental inventory when we're when we're feeling a little bit rough, like maybe what we're doing is not what we're supposed to be doing. Think about it's just this small little snapshot of time that in the grand scheme of things is it, it means nothing. You know, there's, there's so many um, moments in our life that are going to be epic, that are going to be amazing. This day, this week might be rough, but we're going to get on the other side of that and, and it's going to be amazing. So that's just something, having that mindset that there is something amazing right around the corner. We just got to hold out for it. We got to do the work and keep pushing forward because it's coming. And, and we need to be in the right frame of mind to recognize it and accept this amazing gift that's coming to us. Do you think there's signs before we start to get in, down in the dumps or you say depressed? I, I look more down the dumps unless it's really all the time. Do we have certain signs that kind of turn us that way before it happens that maybe could cause it to happen? Well, there, you know, there's clinical depression, but just a bad day, you know, um, yeah, maybe we make a mistake. Maybe we don't accomplish something that we set out to accomplish and we feel that sting of failure that can put a lot of people in a bad mood. You know, not everybody can remain chipper and positive uh, in the face of adversity or failure, you know? Um, so there are, there are signs that it's coming and we've got to be able to recognize them within ourself. And it's different for a lot of different people. Uh, for me, um, I, I tend not to sleep. Uh, you know, it's either not sleeping or sleeping way too much. Um, not eating is one of uh, the things that happens with me when I when I don't eat or work out or get the right sleep. All these pieces are indicators that I'm heading towards that that dark space. Um, and if I don't course correct i will go there and it makes it hard to get back on the positive side of things you know um but on the clinical depression side of it the ptsd side of it 
you know, there's medication, there's therapy, there's, there's a lot of different tools. I do talk about it in my book. I have resources on my website. Uh, so for anybody that may be struggling with that, I am not a, a therapist or a psychologist or anything like that. I've just lived the experience and I know what has worked for me. So that's, that's where I'm coming from. All right. Best place is hollandbackleadership.com for more information. Appreciate it, David, and look forward to chatting with you next week. All right. Thanks, man. All right. You're listening, watching the Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.